podcast is Melissa Aguillon of Aguillon and Associates. Tell us a little bit about Aguillon and Associates. Well, Aguillon and Associates has been in business for almost six years, and it's a firm that I started on my own, uh, on my kitchen table, basically. I left a job with the city of San Antonio right. as a manager in the economic development department to just kind of... You were managing San Antonio? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was managing a lot of the small businesses. No, I'm awesome. just kidding. But helping them start mm -hmm. and grow and was really inspired by a lot of what I was seeing mm -hmm. and having worked, um, as you mentioned, in the public sector and the private sector and helping all these small businesses, right. I just felt like this is something I really feel passionate about and I know I can do and just kind of ran with it, um, scaring my husband a little bit because, mm -hmm. you know, why would you leave a full-time job as a manager where you're uh, doing really well to go off into this uh, world where you don't know what's going to happen. But um, I told him, you know, I know I can do this. Uh, luckily, we have a very big network mm -hmm. of uh, people that we've worked with in the past that are personal friends. Um, and a lot of them knew my skill set. So I got a number of calls right away and started doing some small things here and there for people. And it just kind of continued to grow since then. So now I have a staff of four people under me. So mm -hmm. we're um, a firm. We're pretty much full service. Awesome. Focusing on communications, uh, marketing, public affairs, and also um, one of the one of the niches that I really want to try to grow and we've been doing pretty well at is community outreach. So with that experience that I've developed in the government sector, um, is is working with municipalities, working with government agencies, and working with the community, um, awesome. talking about things that are happening in their area or uh, issues that are important to them. Sure. So I know that it gets kind of thrown around a lot, but what is this? Uh, what is the organic part? What is the organic? Um, I think part of it is what we just talked about. Um, you know, if I didn't have this big network, sure. uh, business wouldn't come to me and continue to come to me. I don't um, I'm just in a very good position where I have not had to do a lot of business development independently. Right. Um, a lot of people that I said, like, I have relationships with. But also, the, the business that we do, obviously, I wouldn't be successful if we didn't do good work. Tell us a little bit, what earns media? What is earns media? Earned media, um, well, in, in what I do on a daily basis is... Um, Helping small businesses, helping corporations, helping nonprofits. If they don't necessarily want to pay um, for advertising in mm -hmm. the traditional sense where they're buying an ad in the paper or where they're um, buying television commercials, um, we help them identify outlets that can cover them. Like the show, Bobby and JJ Radio. Yeah. Um, I was I heard about you through the Hispanic Chamber, and I know the Hispanic Chamber has kind of been letting a lot of their customers uh, or their uh, Maybe, members, I yeah. should say, um, you know, know about what it is that you do to help get the word out about their mm -hmm. businesses. And so now that I know about you, I can share that with my clients and my friends. And um, that's very organic in the true sense right there. Mm -hmm.